Gabrielli, what uh, are you offering? What's the treatment? Walk us through the specifics. So, uh, Alex, today is a big milestone for Tiziana Life Sciences for three reasons. One, it's the first time that we are entering a human trial for, for efficacy and proof of concept of our monoclonal antibody for Magulab in COVID-19 patients in Brazil. Uh, the second reason is it is the first time that a monoclonal antibody will be administered nasally, as traditionally all monoclonal antibodies have been given uh, intravenously by injection. So it's, a, it's the first time that this is ever going to be done, and we think that this can provide a major advantage in treating COVID-19 patients as you can act locally and uh, attack the cytokine storm, which is uh, present in the respiratory tract and lungs, and which leads to uh, mortality. The, the third reason we're excited is that we are going to be um, running an arm of the trial with foralumab isolated by itself. But in addition to that, we're going to be combining it with dexamethasone, which is a, a, a well-known steroid which has been used very commonly in the last six months as part of COVID cocktails, including the one that was used to treat President Trump last month. So, so we're very excited about um, uh, running that uh, together with de dexamethasone. And, uh, and isolated as part of Magilab itself. What type of patients would this be appropriate for, Gabrielli? So, so what uh, uh, the, the, we are, are enrolling three arms, um, 36 patients, minimum 60 maximum. And the idea is to, to um, have one set of patients that are controlled um, without any drug one with our monoclonal antibody, and then the third with a monoclonal antibody plus dexamethasone. And the idea is to try to prevent uh, patients going uh, onto respirators by the use of our, our treatment. Uh, if, if things go okay and, and efficacy moves forward, when does this treatment sort of hit on mass? So the idea of the proof of concept trial is to, is to see if we see any positive efficacy in the trial. And once that is achieved, we will enroll a bigger trial where we, we will be able to measure whether we can get an FDA approval. So the idea of this trial is to get quick results. In fact, it's designed so that we will know by the end of December 2020, so by Christmas time, whether there is a, a positive result in the administration of formalulab and uh, with dexamethasone. So um, the idea is now that we've seen that it was safe in our previous trial reported last year in healthy volunteers, we now test it to see if it works in improving uh, the status of COVID-19 patients. Once that is achieved, and if that is achieved, we will enroll a much bigger trial. Gabrielli, at what point would a patient receive this single treatment or cocktail treatment with dexamethasone? Would it be as they entered hospital? Would it be before they go on to, to respiration? I, I'm curious as to uh, at what point in the, in the process that it would be applied. So, 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 um, so um, obviously, on the um, first arm, we, we enroll... Um, we enrolled COVID patients which get no drug treatment. On, on the second and third arm, the idea would be to, before they go to uh, a respirator, to give them, the, when the, the symptoms uh, progress in a negative fashion, we would put them on the dexamethasone plus uh, for Magulab trial. What do you think is the relationship going forward between treatment and a vaccine? There's a lot of questions as to how long a vaccine will be good for, how many shots you have to get, uh, and how then treatments wind up interacting with all of it. Well, you know, I've been a big, big um, believer in that, uh, that drug therapies are essential um, in parallel to, to vaccine treatment because uh, we, we believe that um, drug, drug therapies are necess necessary for all the population that will not be vaccinated. And for, for the anti-vaccine believers, um, there needs to be a drug treatment in parallel. And we're big believers that uh, cocktails, where you could attack the viral part of the COVID-19 virus, as well as what transpires when you have the infection, which is the attack on your immune system through an excessive cytokine storm which attacks your respiratory tract and lungs. So we, we believe that the best path forward is combining drugs together, which attacks separately the virus and uh, the cytokine storm. 
What else could this be used for? Well, with this, this, this um, technology and therapy that we're um, testing in Brazil could also be used for acute respiratory distress syndrome and, and MERS as well, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. So we believe that if this showed success, it would be a useful therapy beyond COVID-19 because ARDS has been, a, uh, has been with us way before the COVID pandemic and it'll be around way after the COVID pandemic. Um, in addition, um, Guy, we have been developing as our lead indication with Formaya Lab a treatment for progressive multiple sclerosis. And we will be initiating a phase two trial in the first half of 2021 in progressive multiple sclerosis patients. And so the, the um, ability to expand formalulab in other um, autoimmune diseases, such as uh, Crohn's disease, um, type 1 diabetes, is massive. And we hope to be able to uh, achieve the success of drugs such as Humira, which are monoclonal antibodies that have achieved 20 billion in revenue per annum. And what we have that is an advantage is we can be delivered orally and nasally. And all monoclonal antibodies up until today have only been delivered by injection. So th this trial is going to be a, a launching pad to, to test efficacy and also the gateway to expanding um, into multiple sclerosis, um, even Alzheimer's and Crohn's disease.